Are you willing to die for what you believe? I don't know what you believe. I don't know what you claim to believe. But whatever it is that you say that you believe, are you willing to die for it? The question of all questions for you, the greatest American life is, are you willing to die for whatever it is that you say you hold dear to your heart, your religion, your family, whatever it is? The greatest American alive. 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 There are things in this world that are bigger than money. Or can we talk? Can we just have a conversation? There are things in this world that are absolutely positively bigger than money. There are things in this world that Project Daddy will fight in or die for. You hear me? I believe in that. That's more than money. The more precious to me than money. Number one, my children, right? I was having a conversation with my oldest son. Yes, Project Daddy has a 15-year-old son. I call him Project Prince. He don't like that very much. I started off calling him Project Daddy, a Project Baby One. He didn't like that very much neither, but we're going to stick to Project Prince, yes? He's a very handsome young man, and I know that the little girls out there, they're throwing the cooter cat at him. Throwing the cooter cat at him. And so I wanted to have a conversation about this sexual climate in which that we live in because you have to tell the truth to get some power, yes? And so I didn't know how to start, you know, so I told him, I said, hey, hey, big son, go out there and get a, a little shovel, right? I want you to go into the to part of the grass that's nice and fertile, and I want it to be soft, soft sod, yes? I want you to dig yourself a little hole, right? And after you dig this hole, I want you to fill inside the hole and make sure there's no rocks and it's, it's nice, good, smooth dirt, right? And after you got your hole dug, I want you to go get you a nice, cool glass of water, okay? And when you come back, I want you to put that nice, cool glass of water, pour it inside that hole, right? And after your, your mud just has a nice, good, firm consistency to it, I want you to go ahead and stick your dick in the mud, yes? And just thrust away, boy, just hump and hump and hump, just hump as much as you can, right? And get your rocks off, boy. And my son looked at me, he was like, Daddy, is you crazy? <laughs> and I said, something like that, it sounds so strange, it sounds so foreign, right? Unless you heard that shit a million times, and it would sound normal as hell to you, okay? I said, but that sounds as crazy as a person going to an adult shop and getting a 13-inch plastic dildo and inserting that thing inside themselves for some type of organic, orgasmic climax. But it's not organic. It's manufactured, right, by some type of chemical substance that was bonded together to create some type of pleasure because people are seeking pleasure right now, yes? And so I tried to explain to my son that they're trying to use sex as like the new religion, okay? In Christianity, you have, uh, you have Catholics, you have First Baptist, Second Baptist, Southern Baptist, Presbyterians, you have all these different denominations of just Christianity, and Christianity is the umbrella, Yes. And so I tried to explain to Project Prince, I said, son, you know, right now, sex is just the umbrella, okay? And underneath sex, you have all these different types of denominations, right? You got heterosexual, homosexual, pansexual, all these different types of sexuals. I said, but son, whatever the denomination is, always remember that the, the source is, it's just sex. And then I said, man, let's get, make it even more simple. You know what sex is, boy? I said, it's just skin. No matter what part of your body that you look at, ain't nothing but skin. So we're just talking about rubbing skin. You know what I'm saying? And I said, so suppose that you have a really, really crazy sex life. Yes. Suppose you have sex every day, right? Every day for an hour a day for the rest of your life. That is one twenty fourth of your life. That is a fraction of who you are. You sleep for more than you have sex. And so before you identify yourself as some type of sexuality, boy, you can identify yourself as a sleeper, yes? You will probably eat more than you have sex. And so you can consider yourself an eater more than you can consider yourself some type of sexuality. Yes, I'm trying to have this conversation with Project Prince to put this thing in perspective because I don't want him to fall into some type of uh, some type of false ideology thinking that you can have some type of spiritual experience through sexuality. Hell no. There are things in this world that are more important than money, yes? And are you willing to die for the things that you believe, right? Because I'm willing to die for my son. I'm willing to die for Project Prince and Project Baby 2 and 3. Yes, I'm willing to die for all of my children. Project Daddy believes in them more than he believes in money, yes? What do you believe, you hear me? And if you espouse that your sexuality or something like that is, is what you believe in, I'm asking you, are you willing to die for that, Yes. Because I'm not saying that like it's going to be some type of violence or anything. I'm asking you, are you are do you really believe it in your heart in, in in the deepest parts of yourself? Do you believe in these things? Right. If you run around talking about I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican. Do you believe those things with all your soul? Yes, because a lot of people are using words that are fighting words and it's scary as hell right now. 
we have the climate in America to have one of the most nastiest civil uprisings that the world has ever seen, yes? We have hyper uh, uh, unemployment right now. Lots of young men between the ages of 18 and 36, they out here and they ain't got no job, right? And the media will talk shit on these people, call them incels, beta males, all types of shit, right? These are motherfucking adult men with the strength and the capacity to cause damage if they don't feel like they're being valued, yes? But we only want to ascribe some type of fucking number value to these wonderful individuals. And I was sitting there in the projects, right, right down the street. And I was looking at these wonderful, beautiful children, yes, and their moms walked them from the projects, federally subsidized housing. Yes, the government says that you're worth housing, and so I will pay that. Yes, you can graze on this land, but you can never own it, cattle. And I watched they I watched these wonderful women walk these beautiful kids from a million dollar institution, the projects. To elementary school and to middle school, these are both multi-million dollar institutions, yes? And so you invest all this money in these children, you know exactly where they're going to go. You can see the, the school, the prison pipeline, you know exactly based on their zip code what this child's fortunes are going to be, right? And so you spend all this money on this American citizen and this American parent, and they don't never own nothing. And so I like to sit back and ask questions on what is the cost of opportunity? Are you listening to me? What is the cost of opportunity? This is a hard transition from sexuality because instead of talking about actual financial advancement for the American citizen, we're talking about how I'm fucking. And that's crazy as hell because the American citizen, you, the greatest American live is getting fucked right now financially. But all we want to do is talk about different positions and the different people we have sex with. Rubbing skin, motherfucker, rubbing skin. And that's all it is in the end. Yes, we have to advance the conversation because right now our nation is going to face one of the most craziest civil uprisings the world has ever seen. It's always a build up. Before any war, it's a buildup. It takes time and it happens over years. There are skirmishes and there are advancements in political positions before people actually declare war. Yes. In the summer of 2020, we saw cities burn because people are angry. They feel like they're not being valued. And instead of actually listening and, and addressing their concerns, we'll go on national television and talk about some false ideologies and fought and spread some false religion bullshit trying to indoctrinate the American people when the American person should only be concerned with one thing in a capitalist nation. And that's putting some goddamn money in the greatest American lives pocket. And that's it. I don't want to have no other conversation about no other type of bullshit. You hear me about moving the American person forward, right? For my three wonderful sons, for Project Daddy's three beautiful babies, I want them to live in the greatest America that the world has ever seen. That only comes if the American citizen owns something, owns something, the place in which they lay their head. I started with sexuality and I went to education because we're talking about how we spend money. And if we're going to have a conversation about spending money, the number one thing that every every American citizen that every person in the world needs is a place to lay their head, a place that they can call their own. A home. And if we're not going to have a conversation about making sure that every American citizen uh, family owns the place in which they reside, then we're having some fucked up conversations. Are you listening? Are you willing to die for the thing in which you believe? Because if you're not willing to die for freedom, then you'll sit back and be a slave that's saying, oh, my God, I'm just so glad I ain't dead. Oh, I'm just so glad I woke up this morning. Waking up in perpetual poverty and the bondage of motherfucking mental and emotional slavery and psychological slavery is not advancement. That's insanity. And I'm asking you, man, are you willing to die to be free? Because people are espousing rhetoric and fucked up ass ideas. And I'm telling you, the only way that you fight back is you tell these people that I am the greatest American alive. And as the most powerful citizen that has ever existed in the history of the world, I am willing to fight your institutions and die to make sure that I have a place to lay my head and call my own a home. There are things that are willing that are worth fighting for and dying and freedom is a concept and an ideology that's worth fighting for and dying for. And I'm telling you right now. That, that I, I can't blame you for the elementary school that you went to. Did, did you make that decision or did your zip code make that decision? And so if the system says that we're going to spend motherfucking all this money on you, and then if you if you fail in this institution, we'll send you to another failed institution called the prison pipeline yes, or, the, or, or incarceration. If you're going to spend all this money, the American citizen, then goddamn do it from the start and make sure that this person has a wonderful a beginning, a place to call their own a home. 
You, the greatest American alive, you deserve so much more than what these people are doing to you. They're throwing change at you and telling you that you have opportunity when they know exactly where you're going to end up. And I'm not saying there's type, some type of sy systematic conspiracy, but I'm telling you that you are the person who gets to say where your life will go. That is actual freedom. And so before you fall victim to some false nonsense, you tell these people that all I want is a plot of land so that I can motherfucking build and have a family and go on to call this shit my own, my home, the greatest American alive. You are the greatest American alive. Fight for freedom. Be willing to die for things you believe. And if you ain't willing to die for it, then please, you know what I'm saying? Uh, take a train in time out and go sit in the corner somewhere and shut the fuck up. The greatest American alive. You are the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.